And here's something a little different from Auto Expo 2023. This is all about the technology that goes into your car's future tech that you can expect. And of course, it's all homegrown and made in India. We're in conversation with Rohan Varma, CEO and founder of Map My India. Uh, Rohan, great to be talking with you. And Maples is an app that I have grown to use and I find that it works extremely well. In fact, a lot of interesting things about it. Why don't you talk us through it? Sure, thanks, Renuka. Yeah, with Maples app, which works for free on Android, iOS, Android Auto, and CarPlay, and also goes built into OEM systems, there are a lot of things that we're doing to make the road safe for you. For example, when you're driving, if you coming up to a flyover, we tell you in 3D, with something we call junction view, whether to avoid the flyover or to, uh, to, or to climb it. Any such complex intersection, this 3D view, junction view, makes it easy for you to kind of navigate. Or we've made addresses and locations simple. So for example, even if you had to come to a particular stall on a particular floor in the Auto Expo, we give a six character digital address code called Maple's Pin. Absolutely, I've been using it all day because to find our way around the halls and it works to the dot to the entrance, so I can vouch for it. <laughs> That's right. And also you can remotely connect Maple's gadgets like tra GPS trackers, dash cameras, which give you the live video of what the road ahead, or the uh, inside of the cabin, so you can remotely monitor where your car is and the health and safety of the, the occupants or the car, etc. So such kinds of things, but also navigation, what is important from a safety point of view is, we tell you where the speed breakers or potholes ahead are, so that you can avoid that. And we've seen a lot of accidents, unfortunately. If people had that information, then they could be alert while driving, or over speeding alerts. What that means is typically cars today just give a generic over speeding at let's say 80 kilometers per hour. But we know every road has different speeds. So we tell you this road is 30 kilometers per hour and you're going at 48 kilometers per hour. This is kind of how it looks in the navigation. And how would you get the alerts? Say there was a speed break or a pothole coming up, how would those alerts show up to you? So, so MapMania secret sauce of how we've built over uh, our digital maps, what we call this four dimensional, meaning updated in near real time, 3D, high definition map, is we've driven and continue to drive millions of kilometers of roads through and, and collect that data in real time, GPS information, video information. We process that in real time to keep updating the digital maps. So through our AI models, analytics models, we can determine where the speed breakers are, potholes are, sharp curves are, accident prone zones are, so that you as a user, when you're navigating, you get that information in advance. And would they throw, uh, show up in 3D or? It shows up in 3D as well, and that's kind of what uh, maybe here, what you can see is the whole 3D metaverse map. So this is golf course road in Gurgaon, for example. So it's a much richer, much uh, uh, more immersive map that Maples offers you versus the foreign alternatives. Absolutely. And uh, you are also doing a lot with VR. and. Yeah. and uh, can we take a look at some of sure, those? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. So, so exactly. If you come, if, maybe if we come start with here. So what we're what we're talking about is this India verse, the metaverse for the real world or the next generation of 3D maps. So, for example, you want to see all the beautiful parts of India. Let's say the Basilica of Bomb Jesus in Goa. Then all you got to do is click on this in Maples, and and click on 360 degree and you see the 360 degree view and you can walk around. So this is kind of virtual. You can also see that in 3D. So it'll start loading up and you can see how the place looks like in, in, in 3D. So potentially when we were locked down at home in COVID, we could have taken a holiday via Maples. You could spend a lot of things. We could do things like we'll show you the photograph or the 3D landmark and then you can guess where it is. So yeah, a lot of games one can play versus this and a lot of virtual travel. And uh, similarly, if you see here, you'll see the full 3D metaverse map of, let's say, Golf Course Road. So this kind of immersive map uh, is kind of a great, great fun experience. I'd love to show you some more stuff on, on VR. Can we show this? Okay, good. So, so like I said, maybe you want to try this now. Okay, so I'm going to give the hand the mic to you. You speak and yeah. I will. So what, Renuka, what you're seeing, uh, can you start playing it? So this is a VR experience of driving in Leh Ladakh. So you'll start oh my gosh, seeing... this is really amazing. Yeah. 
So you feel like the yeah. car is coming towards you and you can turn your head around yeah. completely. Yeah. You yeah. can fully, you can oh see God. the backside. Yeah, and we're casting what you're seeing on on this. So, yeah. so we're imagining a scenario where you're sitting at home or you're sitting in the backseat of your car yeah. and uh, somebody, <laughs> somebody yeah. is, if you look down, you'll see a bike. Oh, you're, yeah. you're actually biking. Yeah, you're I'm, actually oh, riding. I'm biking. Okay, that's why I missed that truck. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it's like really like driving through wherever you're going. Real world VR. That's why we call it real view. That is so. amazing. That is really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I almost went yeah. into a truck. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, so what this is, uh, what this is, is we're trying to show you the high definition maps. So here you can actually simulate driving okay. on a real world road. So of course we've seen a lot of video games, yeah. but these are video games of real roads. And as you can see manually, I'm a horrendous driver. Oh, yeah. But what this does is it allows the automotive OEMs yeah. or even you as driver, as a consumer, to see how good you are or your car is on particular road conditions. Okay. And so OEMs can use it to improve the dynamics of their vehicles yeah. and uh, consumers can use it or training schools can use it to improve to their sure driving. That, <laughs> that people don't do something like that. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and then uh, we can show you the drone view of this place. So you can turn around. Oh, that's interesting. And, and kind of see or you can you can drive around. So around. so this is, this is Mahindra's training ground. That's yes, right. MSPT. So here what we are doing is enabling vehicle OEMs to plan autonomous or ADAS level 2 plus, level 3 plus uh, driving, where uh, the car is a simulated model it, and the road is a high definition map. So the car is using our high definition map to stay in the center of the road by seeing how far the guardrails are. Okay. And uh, in this we can set different speeds, uh, let's say cruise control, and you can start seeing whether the car will start zigzagging or you know maintain a center of gravity, etc. I mean, you're the expert yeah. on driving, so 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 you. So you would basically have their software integrated with yours, and yes. then it would actually simulate That's what right. the ADAS system will do in the real world. Yes, and and what's interesting is, like I said, we've been capturing real world data for across the country. So this is not a theoretical drive cycle. This is actually you can drive in the streets of Delhi or Bangalore or Goa or Ladakh and see how the car will behave even before the car is manufactured. So simulation for manufacturers so that they can actually perfect and fine-tune their systems. That's absolutely right. That is amazing. So, so what we're showing here, something interesting, is for two-wheelers, okay. you see this nav visor, we call it. Yes. It's a wise smart helmet kit. It's like a HUD for a uh, heads-up display for your two-wheeler helmet. Wow. Now, there are LED lights in this uh, uh, on this helmet visor, when you use Maple's app and you pair this Navisor gadget of ours, it starts giving you red indicators on either the left or right to tell you when to turn. So it's a turn indicator for yourself. You don't have to look at the phone to know when to turn. So a lot safer because you just don't have to take your eyes off the road, especially when you're on a two-wheeler. That's to look at anything. It's it's all just there. That's absolutely right. Then these, this is what we call car eye. It's a dash camera, has camera on the back side and the front side. Using this through the Maples app, you can get a live in-cabin view and a live road front view. So uh, video streamed <coughs> along with the GPS information. So you can see whether the driver is sleepy, drunk, uh, or if it was not the driver's fault at all, it was another car's or the pedestrian's fault. Uh, and uh, and you know so so yeah in case of any mishap everything mishap, is insurance claim uh, you know for police case for theft of car it's real video CCTV for your so car. even when your car is parked the dash cam would actually show you if someone broke into your that's car and drove right, it away that's right you'd know who that's it was that's right and then to round off Maple's gadgets we have GPS trackers for electric vehicles or for IC vehicles, for two-wheelers, and then we have these infotainment uh, uh, connected systems, we call it iSnav, which comes built in with uh, Android operating system and MapMindia's uh, software, and also Android Auto and CarPlay. So this range of Maple's gadgets, we believe, is kind of a must-have for consumers or vehicle owners for their cars, two-wheelers, trucks, buses, uh, yeah. 
and as i can see there's there's a lot more that's coming in the future a lot of virtual stuff that that will actually translate into reality in the future so it's it's pretty amazing i mean technology is just advancing in leaps and bounds and uh, it's it's pretty amazing to see so thank you for having walked us around your stall and showing us all of this and i'm sure you viewers will also enjoy this interesting walk around of the map my india stall where you can see what future technology is also going to be in your cars <laughs>